drops of olive oil. Then you say these magic words. Knock, knock, knock. Streganona went to the door. Oh, Streganona, said a tall girl standing there. All my life, I've wanted to learn your magic. Will you teach me, please? Santo cielo, dear me, said Streganona. What is your name, my girl? Ah, uh, Antonia, said the girl. Why do you want to learn my magic, Antonia? Streganona asked. Oh, so that I can help people, said Antonia. Ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to become a Strega. Ah, in that case, said Streganona. Come right in. This is Bambalona. She is learning my magic, too. Bambalona stared at Antonia and then at Streganona. How nice. Two girls to teach, Streganona said. She smiled at Bambalona and then she began. To learn magic and practice it well, she said. You must learn to see and not to see. You must learn to remember and to forget. To be still and to be busy. But mostly, you must be faithful to your work. Do you understand, my dears? See? Yes, Dragonola, said Bambalona. No, no, said Antonia. When are we going to learn how to do the magic things? In time, said Streganona. Now, let's practice some of the magic words. Repeat in the right order after me. Soon, Bambalona said all of them by heart. Antonia kept mixing them up. Bambalona learned the cure for headaches. Antonia didn't. Bambalona learned to make love potions. Antonia didn't. Bambalona learned how to get rid of warts. Antonia didn't. Bambalona, said Streganona. I think you are ready now to learn more powerful magic. This is a special book. It is very ancient and contains many magic secrets. Tomorrow, we will begin with it. Oh, grazie, Streganona, said Bambalona. Me too, Streganona, asked Antonia. Not yet, Antonia, said Streganona. You have other things to learn. That night, while everyone slept, Antonia crept into Streganona's house. Bambalona thinks she's so smart, said Antonia. I'll just read that book tonight, and tomorrow I'll surprise her and Streganona. The next morning, Antonia was looking very tired. Antonia, said Streganona. Watch and listen. Come, Bambolona, we will start. Wait, wait, shouted Antonia. I have a surprise. I know some real magic. Watch me turn that iron kettle into a golden one. Are you sure, Antonia? Said Streganona, frowning. Yes, oh yes said Antonia, beginning to mutter some strange-sounding words. But she stopped. Wait, I remember now. She began again. Be careful, Antonia, warned Bambalona. Magic can't be fooled with. I've got it now, Antonia said. She muttered more words. Suddenly, there was a bright flash, some smelly smoke, and the iron kettle was still there. 
But Strega Nona wasn't. Instead, where Strega Nona had been standing was a nice, fat toad. Now see what you've done, cried Bampalona. Oh, no, shouted Antonia. Oh, help! Help somebody! Save Strega Nona! What have I done? Strega Nona warned you to be careful with magic. Now she's gone forever, Bampalona said. Strega Nona, wept Antonia, picking up the toad. Forgive me, forgive me. Please, Bumbalola, you're so clever, you're so smart. Please change her back again. I promise I'll never play with magic again. I can't change that toad into Strega Nona, said Bumbalona. But I can change Antonia into Big Anthony. Bombalona pulled off Antonia's kerchief, and sure enough, there was Big Anthony. Oh, I'll never learn, howled Big Anthony. I'll never learn. Oh, Strega Nona, Strega Nona, what have I done to you? Perhaps, said Bombalona, if you really promise to never ever play with magic again, that will bring Strega Nona back. Do you really think that would work? Said Big Anthony, sobbing. It's worth a try, said Bombalona. Big Anthony put down the toad. He closed his eyes tight and put his hand over his heart. I promise, I really promise, that as long as I live, I will never play with magic again. Just please bring Strega Nona back. There was another bright flash, some smelly smoke, and presto, Strega Nona was back. Where am I? said Strega Nona. Oh, I'm in my little house. Whatever happened to me? Hello, Bumbalona. And why, Big Anthony, what are you doing here? Where's sweet Antonia? Tell her, Big Anthony, said Bumbalona. Oh, Strega Nona, said Big Anthony, falling on his knees. He told Strega Nona what he had done. He was so busy crying and talking. He didn't see the nice fat toad hopping past him out the door. And so, Strega Nona, please, he said, if you take me back, I promise to be good. I'll do all my chores and never play with magic again. All right, Anthony, said Strega Nona, smiling. Bye. Before you go back to work, change your clothes. You're wearing Signora Rosa's nicest dress.